riding the topics. If you're on the topic, you're not on an edge, and you lose points. It has to be clean edges throughout. The next team, the three-time champs from Ukraine, Alexandra Nazarova and Maxime Nikitin. 15th at the World Championships last year. And that is how they earned a spot at these Olympics. Their first element here is the rumba pattern dance. So the pattern dance element changes every season in ice dancing. This season it is the rumba, so that means that every couple will be performing these exact same steps you're looking at here. It will go along the boards in front of the judges, and that's just a way for the technical panel and the judges to compare the basic skating skills of each of these teams. These two skaters are from Ukraine, but like many of the top teams, they don't train in their hometown. They're in America now. They're in Michigan, and Igor Spielbahn is their coach. He actually coached that opening team that we saw. He's got five different teams in this event. He's very busy at these Olympic Games, as always. Incredible changes of position. Terry, I don't even know what's happening right now <laughs> with that change. Incredible acrobatics. So nice when someone can bring some originality into the lift in the short dance. A little trouble there on the opening twizzle. Losing speed, you have to maintain ice coverage during this element. You cannot start rotating on the spot, otherwise you will lose that technical level. They certainly have the creativity in this performance. It was a little bit rough around the edges in terms of the execution. They struggled. You see all of the yellow there in the technical score box. All those elements are under review by the technical panel. The execution was just a little too questionable to be technically solid. Team that won the national championship three times and after teaming up back in 2004. So they've been together a while. They got together when she was seven and he was nine and and we see that in dance sometimes teams standing like the shibitani's brother or sister obviously but you it takes time it does and and that's the mainstay of learning ice dances you have to be patient you have to spend time on things like crossovers for hours and hours a day because ultimately ideally ice dancers are the best fundamental skaters of all four disciplines no bias there Not it's to a true toot statement my own horn. <laughs> that's right there's igor spielbahn awaiting this team He'll, have, he'll do that a number of times throughout this event. Zarva and Nicotine in the Kiss and Cry. Igor Spielbahn, one of the best. No, there's no question about that. And based in the United States, in Michigan. Fabian Borzat also in there with them. He's a two-time European champ. Natalie Pechelet. What do you think? Higher component scores. They, they took a hit on those technical levels. They really did. They lost 10.7 points 
in the technical score, but not on this lift. It's incredible. I mean, she looks like Chloe Kim up there in the half pipe, just <laughs> flipping around and around. I want to know what they call that lift because ice dancers have to come up with their own names for those kind of things. Taking a look Germany. here at the twizzle, you have okay. to grab that blade within the first half revolution of the twizzle. If you don't make contact and secure the grab, you're not going to get that feature, we call it, for that twizzle. There are a number of features in order to gain the highest level of criteria. So it's not all uniform. You do come up with specific names for 